today we are going to learn about the topic cohen sutherland line clipping algorithm let's see the introduction first of all we have to see what the clipping is clipping is nothing but deciding the visible and invisible portion of a particular process called clipping clipping determines each element into the visible and non visible invisible portion visible portion is selected and invisible portion is discarded the primary use of clipping in computer graphics is to remove the object lines or line segments that are outside the viewing pane means here whatever the things which are inside the window we have to keep that things and the things which are outside the window we have to clip that things so this is nothing but the clipping now we consider the following clipping algorithms there is a point clipping line clipping area clipping and text clipping it is categorized into this four types first let's see what is a point clipping assuming that the clip window is rectangle in the standard position we have the point p having the coordinate x y for the display now here is a window as we have seen in the figure there is a window rectangular window and there is one point p having the coordinate x and y now we have to decide whether this point is inside the window or outside the window if it is inside we have to keep it if it is outside the window we have to discard it now this is the x min and x max which is in x direction and this is the y min and y max in y direction so if the x and y coordinate are within this range then the point is inside the window so for that we can write the conditions like x min less than or x less than or x max y min less than y less than y max means if the x coordinate is within this range of x min and x max and if the y coordinate is within the range of y min and y max our point is inside the window if this condition does not satisfy then the point is surely outside the window then we have to discard that point so this is the point clipping let's see the line clipping now in line clipping we have to consider the two end points of the line if both the end points of the line are inside the boundary window boundary the line is visible and we will not clip that line we will keep it as it is if both the end points of the line are outside the window we will discard that line and if the third point is if the end points of the line are partially visible then we have to calculate the intersection point with the boundary of the window and then we have to clip the outside part of the line so for example we have seen this figure first figure is before clipping and next figure is after clipping now here if we consider line p1 p2 it is completely inside the window so we will keep this line and the lines like p3 p4 and p9 p10 so these are outside the window so we will discard the line now point p is also outside so we will discard this point now the line p5 p6 and p7 p8 these are partially visible one point is inside and one one point is outside for line p5 p6 so in this case we will find here the intersection point with the edge of the window say we will find it out as p5 dash and then we will discard this portion of line and the new line will be p5 dash p6 now consider the next line that is p7 p8 so in p7 p8 both this points are outside the window but they are sharing the different regions of that window so what we will do again we will cut this line by getting the intersection point with the edge of the window boundary and we will clip the part which is outside the window and we will keep the inside point so the new line points end points will be p7 dash and p8 dash in this way we will get the 
lines which are inside the window so this is the our clipping window so in this way the line clipping works now the there are different types of line clipping algorithms we have to study which in which we have to perform the line clipping operation so it is performed by using line clipping algorithms the line clipping algorithms are cohen sutherland line clipping algorithm midpoint subdivision line clipping algorithm and liang barsky line clipping algorithm so in this uh, lecture we will study the cohen sutherland line clipping algorithm let's see this algorithm divides the two dimensional space into nine different regions so as we have seen this figure this algorithm divides the window into nine regions including the region of window so eight are the outside regions and one is the inside region that is the window so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and ninth one is the window and then sufficiently determine the lines and the portion of the lines that are visible in the central region of the interest means we have to display the part of the lines or the portion of the line which is inside the window and we have to discard the portion which is outside this window boundary so as we have seen each region is associated with an 4 bit out code this is a 4 bit code we will call it as a out code and this is the y direction and this is the x direction so based on this we have given here the name as xw mean yw mean means this is yw mean and this is xw mean and this one is xw max and this is yw max this is top right bottom and left so in this way we can divide the window into different nine regions now how the algorithm works now as we have seen there are nine different out codes are there for each region including the region of the window window is having the out code 0000 means if the out code of any line end point of any line is 0000 then we have to keep this line we do not clip that line so how the out code is assigned this is nothing but one is a top zero is bottom this zero is right and this is left so in this way we have assigned the out code to each region of the window now the how the algorithm works in step 1 we assign the region code for two end points of the line suppose we have the line ab so we have to see in which region that end points of that line falls and we have to write the out code of that line if both the end points of the line are 0 0 then the line is completely inside and we will keep this line if the step 2 fails means if the out code is not zero then we have to perform the logical and operation means we have to perform the logical and operation as we have no the truth table of logical and operation in that one one is one and all other are zero so based on that we have to perform the out code operation using logical and then if the out codes are different we will perform the logical and operation if the result of logical and operation is zero is not zero then the line is completely outside now if the line is partially inside then what we have to do we have to choose the end point of the line which is outside the rectangle then we find the intersection with the boundary of the window and we replace the end point which is outside with the intersection point by giving different name to the intersection point and then we will perform the step 2 means again comparing the end points with the out codes and we will perform the logical and operation there and we will find out whether the line is trivially accepted or rejected in this way we have to repeat the step 1 for all the lines now let's see this algorithm with the help of one example now see this example in this we are having two lines a 
and D. First line is AD and second line is EI. Now, first of all, we consider the line segment AD. Now, when we consider the line segment AD, we will first write the outcode of line AD. So, the outcode of A is 0, 0, 0, 0 and the D is 1, 0, 0, 1. Now, A is having 0, 0, 0, 0 means it is inside the window. This point is inside the window. So, we will see the outcode of point D which is non-zero value means point D is outside. So, what we have to do? We have to find the intersection with the point D. So, here as we have seen this line is sharing the three different regions 1, 2 and 3. Three different regions they are sharing. So, in that way first we have to find the intersection with this region with point D because it is non-zero. So, here we have find out the intersection as a point as a C. Then again we will consider the line we, we will consider the line CB. Okay. We will compare the result. If the result is non-zero then we will again discard the point. Okay. Now, here the point B if we find out the point B which is on the boundary of the window. So, if any point is on the boundary of the window, its outcode is also 0, 0, 0, 0. So, what we will do? In case of line CB, C is having the non-zero outcode. So, it is discarded. And finally, we will get the line AB. Now, the AB is tested and it is trivially accepted because both the endpoints will have the same outcode that is 0, 0, 0, 0 and that line is displayed. Now, let's consider the second line EF. Now, this EF is going passing through the four regions 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, it is passing through the four regions. Now, again, here we have to compare the outcodes. So, consider the line segment EI in that point E has the outcode 0, 1, 0, 0 while I has the outcode 1, 0, 1, 0. Okay. Means both are the non-zero value. So, the result of the trivial test shows that the line is neither be trivially rejected or accepted. Point E is determined to be the outside point. So, the algorithm clips the line against the bottom edge of the window. Now, first point is E which we have considered and second point is I. So, first point is having the non-zero value. So, we will clip this line and we will find here the intersection point F. Now, F is having the end outcodes 0, 0, 0, 0. So, we will move forward. Now, our new line is F I. Now, this line F I is now tested and cannot be trivially accepted or rejected. Why it is not accepted or rejected? Because the outcode of i is a non-zero value. So, again, what we will do? Now, we will consider this figure. Now, we have discarded point E. Now, we have the new line fi. Now, here, the outcode of i is a non-zero value. So, we will clip the point and we have find out the intersection with the boundary of this region. The new point is h. Okay, now point F has outcode 0, 0, 0, 0. So, the algorithm chooses the point I as an outside point. Hence, its outcode is 1, 0, 1, 0. Line FI is clipped against the window's top edge. Line FI is clipped against the window's top edge, yielding a new line FH. Now, we consider the line FH which cannot be trivially accepted or rejected. Why? Because the outcode of point H is 0010, which is a non zero value. So, point H is surely outside. Then, what we will do? We will clip this point. And then, finally, we find new intersection point with the edge of the window, that is point G. So, finally, we have the line in the last figure, that is F and G. 
Now both the outputs of F and G are zero 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 zero. So it is surely visible and it is inside the window boundary. So it is trivially accepted and we display the line F G. In this way, we perform the clipping line and finally in figure E we have got the new clipping lines which are lie inside the window so in this way the sutherland hodgman in this way the cohen sutherland algorithm works let's see the advantages and some of the limitations of this algorithm the advantages are it calculates the end points very quickly because we have associated it with certain outcodes so we can quickly tell what is the outcode of the particular end point and we will reject and accept the lines based on the outcode it can clip the pictures much large than the screen size now the limitation is it works only for the line with integer length as the outcode is integer it works only with integer lengths it works for the rectangular clip window here we have to use the rectangular clip window only and it takes the exponential time if the line is sharing the two or three region it takes quite uh, much time to solve it cannot work for parallel lines if there is a parallel line on the boundary of the window so it it for that case it is quite difficult so these are the some of the advantages and limitations of the cohen sutherland algorithm so this is all about this line clipping algorithm thank you